today our focus in this video is going to be on order of operations. Uh, it's important that as we approach these, we, we take a, a certain, certain steps towards the answer. And uh, like a lot of things in life, um, we have to do things in order. So as you drive a car, you have to turn it on before you um, put it into drive, before you hit the gas pedal, before you go forward. Uh, so math is kind of the same way. You have to do certain things uh, in a specific order in order to get the correct answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look first at what the order is, and then we're going to apply it to two examples here. So first, we start with our parentheses. Now parentheses, um, as most of you are familiar with, are these things here. We also have brackets which are on the outside of that so if we already have parentheses then we use brackets and then if we already have parentheses and brackets then we use braces and these are just a way to um, separate out information that we deem more important that needs to get done first uh, the next thing we need to look at is exponents so after we've done all of our parentheses we move to our exponents now that could be um, a squared a cubed a um, to the third power or fourth power, fifth power, sixth power, um, and it also deals with square roots or cubed roots or fourth roots or fifth roots. So after we've done all of our parentheses, we go and we do all of our exponents before we before we go anywhere else. Next, we have multiplication and division. Now these ones are um, we have to do in order from left to right. So it's not always going to be multiplication uh, that comes first. It's not always going to be division that comes first. We just move from left to right and see where we go from there. And finally, we have addition and subtraction. So again, after we've done all of our parentheses, we've done all of our exponents, we've done all of our multiplication and division, we move to our addition and subtraction. And again, these are much like the multiplication and division where we move from left to right performing these operations. So we might not always do addition, all of our addition before we do our subtraction. We could do some sub, some subtraction into some addition into some more subtraction. Um, the only thing where the place where this can get kind of hairy is if we almost have to, in parentheses, reset all of this stuff. So um, if we're inside parentheses, then we actually look at order of operations um, again and then go through the line of these and say, okay, Inside the parentheses, do we have exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction? So we'll see that in these examples here. Um, so if we just take this step by step and we um, go line by line, uh, it, it'll be a lot easier than if we try and just do this all at once. So we look over here and we say, okay, we need to start with our parentheses. So inside our parentheses, we now need to look and say, okay, do we have any more parentheses inside? No. Do we have any exponents? No. Do we have any multiplication division? Yes, we do. So we come and we say, okay, two times three is six. And then we drop everything else down. Um, I know that this seems like a waste of time, but this will help you stay organized and it'll help you avoid uh, some of those little errors. Now, if we look in the parentheses again, we still have um, addition that we can do. So six plus one is seven. Okay, then we drop everything else down. And now we don't have anything more in parentheses. Okay, so we can check that off. And then we go to exponents. We see we don't have an exponent here. We don't have one here, but we have one here. So we look at and we say negative nine squared, notice how it's in parentheses, is the same as saying negative nine times negative nine which is a positive 81. So we say negative seven minus five times seven minus 81. We could put that 81 in parentheses if you want, it doesn't matter. All right, our next step will be, now, now that we have all of our exponents out of the way, multiplication and division. Now in this case, we have one set of, one part that's multiplication. So we drop this, we say, okay, what's five times seven? It's 35. Positive times or negative times positive is negative minus 81. Now we go left to right with addition subtraction. And with this step, as we've talked about, I want you to make this all into an addition problem. So if we're subtracting 35, it's the same as adding a negative 35. And if we're subtracting an 81, same as adding a negative 81. 
All right, and like magic, we have more space. So now what we need to do is we need to just look and, and move from left to right and just add these together. So negative 7 plus negative 35, our rule says that if we have the same sign when you're adding, we find the sum. So we look and we say, okay, 35 plus 7 is 12, carry the 1, 42. And then we take their sign. So we have negative 42 plus negative 81. And then uh, to finish this off, same sign, we find the sum. So we say 81 plus 42 is 123, and we take their sign. So we come out with a negative 123. And the nice thing about this, and, and I want you to really focus in on this, is we have this nice like movement down to our solution. Okay, It's very organized. You can see what we're doing in each step. Um, and I want you to take the time to do it that way. I know it's kind, it can be kind of a pain, um, but I want you to practice that so that um, you can avoid making those mistakes. All right, so let's take a look at this final example. I'll put over here, just as a reminder, these uh, helpful things. Some people refer to this, by the way, as PEMDAS, or they remember it as, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's just a way of remembering it. Um, and I'm actually going to put these M and D, the multiplication and division, and then addition, subtraction in boxes as a reminder that they are linked. So we start with our parentheses. So we look in our parentheses and we say, okay, do we have any parentheses in the parentheses? No. Do we have any exponents inside the parentheses? No. Do we have any multiplication or division? Well, yes, we do. We have division right here. So we say 18 divided by 6 is 3 and then we drop everything else down. And nothing else should change um, when we're doing this. So make sure that you copy it correctly. Make sure, I've seen a lot of people where their subtraction signs start looking like multiplication signs and different things like that. So just make sure you're aware of that. Uh, so then next we need to add in our parentheses. So three plus three is six. Again, we drop everything else down. Um, Again, stick with me on this process. I know it might seem uh, pointless to continue to um, bring those things down, but it, it is helpful. All right, next, we're all done with our parentheses. We need to now move to our exponents. Do we have any exponents? Yes, we do. So before we multiply this five times six, we have to use, um, we have to take six and we have to square it. So we come over here, six squared is six times six, which is 36. So we have 5 times 36. We'll drop everything else down. Minus 7 divided by 14. Negative. Okay. So now we don't have any parentheses left. So now we come and we look at, do we have any multiplication and division? Well, yes, we do. So we actually have three sets. We have one here, one here, one here. So we're going to move left to right. So we say, okay, what is negative 14 divided by 7. Well, negative 14 divided by 7 is negative 2. Okay, drop everything else down. Minus 2 divided by negative 1. Okay, then we come to this next set. And we have 5 times 36. So we go, uh, let's do 36 times 5. 6 times 5 is 30. Carry the 3. Uh, 3 times 5 is 15. Plus 3 is 18. So we have 180. Uh, minus 2 divided by negative 1. Don't lose this subtraction or negative sign, however you want to look at it. Okay, next step, we have to do this final division. Um, and this says 2 divided by negative 1, which is actually just a negative 2. But then don't lose this subtraction sign. Drop the rest down. Notice how, again, this has a nice flow downwards. Okay. Now that we're done with all of our multiplication and division, we start and look at our addition and subtraction. So again, let's take and look at these as an addition problem. So our negative 2 doesn't change. Minus 180 is saying plus a negative 180. Minus a negative 2, the opposite of negative 2 is a positive 2, and so we are adding 2. Now we look and we say, okay, now let's go from left to right. So what's negative 2 plus a negative 180? Well, same sign. We find the 
sum. So 180 plus 2 is 182. So we have a negative 182 plus 2. And now here we have a different sign. One's negative, one's positive. And so we say, okay, different signs, we find the difference. So we say 182 minus 2, which is 180. And then we take the sign of the 1 with the bigger absolute value, which is our negative. So hopefully it helped for you guys to see uh, these problems worked out and just the process that we go through as we approach order of operations. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to bring those into class or you can post them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.